Bhujangini Mudva To perform the flaring cobra gesture, take up the Unmukha Asana, which is a prone position with your entire body in a straight line. In this technique, the emphasis is on the breathing pattern and the production of a mighty hissing sound through the clenched teeth. Slowly, bring your arms forward and keep the palms on the ground alongside the respective shoulder. Take in a deep breath while performing the Unmukha Asana. While making a mighty hissing sound on the out breath, flare back into the Bhujangasana. On the incoming breath, relax back onto the face prone position and then again flare back with a mighty hiss on the out breath. Repeat this mudra at least three to six times at each session. The Bhujangini mudra helps to release the pent-up stress that accumulates in our system from our daily life and provides great emotional and mental relief. It is an excellent stress buster and is a must for all in this day and age. Finally, relax in the Unmukha Asana for a period of relaxation, letting the benefit of this mudra seep into every part of your body. Matsyasana Sit straight with your legs stretched out in front. Fold up your legs and perform the Padmasana. Bend your elbows and relax backwards until your elbows are flat on the ground. Use your hands to lift the shoulders off the ground in an exaggerated back bend until your entire weight is balanced on the top of your head. If possible, catch hold of your toes with your fingers and bring both your elbows down to the ground. Perform three to nine rounds of deep breathing in this position. When ready, return back to the Padmasana in a careful step-by-step -step manner. Unlock your feet and stretch them forward into the Uttanasana and then slowly return to the supine Shavasana. A couple of rounds of head rolling from side to side in Shavasana can help release any pent-up tension in the neck that may occur after performing the fish posture. Gomukhasana Sit in the Vajrasana with your spine as erect as possible. Cross your knees with the right leg over the left and then bring your feet back so that you are sitting between the heels of your crossed feet. Perform the Gomukha Mudra by taking your right hand over your right shoulder and catching it from behind by your left hand. Fix your gaze on the tip of your upright elbow. This creates a healthy circulation in the upper part of the body and massages the tissues of the neck, shoulder and upper areas of the spinal column. Slowly release the hand and leg positions and come back to Vajrasana for a short period of relaxation with deep breathing. Perform the practice on the opposite side 
to create a balanced effect on both halves of your body. It also releases unhealthy tension that tends to accumulate in the upper spinal and neck regions from sedentary desk jobs and physical inactivity. Slowly release the hand and leg positions and come back to Vajrasana for a short period of relaxation with deep breathing. Halasana From Shavasana, lift both legs up towards the sky on the in-breath. Take the legs over the head until the toes touch the ground beyond the head. Do not bend the knees. Stretch the arms out behind the back or hold on the lower back with the elbows on the ground. Breathe in a shallow manner while concentrating on the healthy pressure at the throat region. Those who have neck problems shouldn't do this posture as it may aggravate the neck pain. Release the posture after 10 to 15 seconds and while breathing out, slowly come back to the Shavasana. Roll your head from side to side to ease away any pressure that may have accumulated in the neck. Jatara Parivrittasana Lie down in Shavasana and stretch both arms out on the respective sides to make a cross-like figure. Breathe in and lift your right leg up towards the sky as in the Ekapada Uttana Pada Asana. Breathe out and slowly lower your right leg over your body until the right foot is on the left hand. Breathe in and turn your head to the right. Breathe out and bring your head back to the center. Breathe in and lift your right leg back to the original position. Breathe out and lower the leg back down to the ground. Relax for a few seconds. Repeat the practice two more times. To perform the opposite side, breathe in and lift your left leg up towards the sky. Breathe out and slowly lower your left leg over your body until the left foot is on the right hand. Breathe in and turn your head to the left. Breathe out and bring your head back to the center. Breathe in and lift your left leg back to the original position. Breathe out and lower the leg back down to the ground. Repeat the practice two more times. Please note that those who have back problems should not do straight leg lifting and should do it with bent knee instead to avoid increasing the strain on the back. Once you have completed the practice on both sides, bring your hands back to the sides and relax in Shavasana for some time. Vakrasana Sit erect with your legs stretched out in the Uttanasana. Bend your right knee and place the right foot by the side of the left knee. Turn to your right 
and place your right hand on the ground behind you to support your erect position. Bring your left arm round the outer side of the right knee and catch hold of the right big toe. Turn your head and look back over your right shoulder. The erect knee acts as a fulcrum for getting maximum twist of the spine. Keep your torso as straight as possible. Hold the posture for 10 to 30 seconds with soft breathing. Release the posture and come back to the Uttanasana. Repeat the practice on the opposite side. This posture gives an excellent massage to the abdominal organs and is very useful for those suffering from diabetes as well as digestive disorders. It is also useful for back and neck problems. Navasana Lie down in Shavasana with your arms by your sides. While breathing in, slowly come up to the Uttanasana. Hold in the breath and raise both feet off the ground until the toes are in line with the nose. This is the Navasana, the boat posture. The hands are placed alongside the legs for maximum benefit. On an outgoing breath, slowly lower the feet to the ground and recline back allowing each vertebra of the spine to return to the ground as though the treads of a caterpillar tractor. After short relaxation, repeat the practice two more times. The abdominal and thigh muscles are toned up in a healthy manner by the regular practice of Navasana. A massive supply of blood is also sent down into the pelvic area by the healthy tension of holding this posture. Lie down in Shavasana and relax for some time with deep breathing. <laughs> 